Hello and welcome to another video by Enterprises Software Solutions, your number one software dudes. My name is Anthony and I want to run you through getting started with Windows Autopilot. Also that allow you to automatically enroll devices, install applications, and apply a lot of settings to your devices when they join your Azure AD domain. So you'll notice here that I'm starting in Azure AD. So that if you go to portal.azure.com, select the option for Azure AD. The first thing I wanna look at is the company branding. So this, this is what's gonna show up on the login screen during the autopilot phase. And we're starting here just because I wanna get the Azure AD stuff out of the way, and then we'll move over into the Endpoint Manager console or Intune. If you've updated this before, you'll have a default option here or potentially other languages. Otherwise, you'll have a configure button instead of this new language button uh, that will open up the same settings as if I were to click here on this default. By clicking on that, you'll get this option to edit company branding. Cool. So I don't have a t all the different sizes here. You notice for like the background image on the login page, uh, you want a 1920 by 1080, uh, but I have a close to banner logo. And I want to do this so that we can see this in the autopilot base. So I'm going to update the logo and select this option to remain signed in and save it. All right, and then we'll flip over into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Quite a mouthful, uh, but that is just endpoint.microsoft.com. And from here, I'm going to select Devices and Enroll Devices. And here's where we have the Windows Autopilot deployment program. And from here, we're gonna start with the deployment profiles. I'm gonna select this option here. You notice that I don't have any. Oh, that was brand new, so let's get started. I'm gonna select the option to create a profile. And from here, it's gonna ask you for some basic information, name and description. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in here. I'm gonna be short and sweet for our demo. And you notice we can convert targeted devices to autopilot. So if you have devices that are already joined to AD that end up in the assignments, and we'll get that to that in step three, it will automatically convert those to autopilot. I'm gonna leave this as no for now, uh, but if that, if that is something useful to you, you should definitely select yes. All right, in here for the out-of-box experience or UBI, uh, we've got a lot of options. Specifically, we wanna leave this as user-driven and Azure AD joined. If you have a hybrid a Azure AD, then you can select that option there. I do not in my tenant, so I'm gonna leave this as Azure AD joined. And I'm gonna choose the option to hide the license terms as well as the privacy settings since we can actually configure those ourselves. It's a little out of scope for this demo, uh, but know that you can. And for the account change options, I don't want that to show up. Select hide, user account standard, of course. I'll allow white glove. So in this case, I'm gonna select no, and language region, we, you can choose an option here or you can leave it as the operating system default. I'll leave this as the default. And I don't like the automatically configured keyboard because I don't type with QWERTY. And the last option we have is a device name template. If we select yes here, you notice we can come up with our own naming convention. This is a little out of scope. I'm gonna select no on that one, but know that you can do that. And it's gonna be useful if you've got a lot of devices and you wanna track them by serial number or something. Next, and here's what I was talking about when it comes to assignments. You notice I can select groups here or all devices. I'm gonna select all devices because I want this to apply to all my devices. Next, now we can scroll through the changes if we want and click create. Cool, there you go. So we see that it created and assigned successfully. All right, so now let's flip over to our test device. All right, so what we're looking at here is a VM that I have Windows 10 installed, the latest version. And to enroll this into Windows Autopilot, I'm gonna just hit Shift F10 on the keyboard. What that's gonna do is open up a administrator command prompt. And from here, we wanna launch PowerShell. And before we go any further, I have not done anything to this computer except start the Windows install process. So I've, inst I've installed Windows and we have gotten to the first step uh, where, where it's asking us to, to configure it after it's finished the installation. I have not logged into it. I have not done anything. So you can do this to a fresh computer out of the box. All right, and from here, we're going to install the git windows autopilot info script. So to do that, we have to run this command. And since this is the first time we've ever run this command on this system, it's gonna ask us to do a little bit of setup. I'm gonna select yes. And then I'm gonna select yes again and each step may take a couple of seconds. 
All right, and once that's installed, uh, we need to make it so that we can run that script. So we need to set our ex execution policy to be unrestricted. And then we can run the command. And if you're connected to the internet, which I am on this system, we have this option to do this dash online, and this will automatically enroll the device for you. It's really easy. I'm just gonna run this command with dash online and hit enter. And keep in mind that this may take a few minutes to get installed or running, and that's okay, because it's installing a module in the background so that it can do this. Uh, and remember, this is a lot easier than, than doing this yourself. <laughs> All we have to do is wait. And when it's running, it's going to ask you for your credentials to sign into your Azure tenant. So I'm going to go ahead and get those typed in. All right, we'll go ahead and select the option to sign in. And if you've got MFA, it's going to prompt you for that. And since I'm running this on a VM in Hyper-V, looks like I'm having some DNS issues. So I'm going to fix that really quick. I don't expect this to come up as an issue for you, uh, but you can change your DNS server with this set DNS client server address command. Uh, and I'm just using 1.1.1.1, which is the Cloudflare's DNS server. So, and, and if it errors out, you can just rerun the command after you fix it if you run into this issue. Sweet. And when we get to that waiting for one of one to be imported, uh, what that's doing in the background is it has submitted the request to import this device into uh, Intune. And so now it's waiting for confirmation. And this will take a couple of minutes, and it's not an issue. We'll just let it go. All right, sweet. So now that it has imported the device into Intune, we can take a look at it by going back to the endpoint manager. From here, we'll go back to devices, enroll devices, and then under underneath Windows Autopilot Deployment Program, we can look at devices again. And now we've got our one device. And you notice it says model virtual machine. <laughs> yeah, that's because my, my test device is a virtual machine. Uh, and if we look at the properties of this device, by clicking on it, you notice that we can change the name, add a group tag. And group tags, if you hover over the eye here, are just a way to identify groups of devices. So you can use that to assign certain applications to certain groups, that sort of thing. Uh, it's a little out of scope of this, uh, this demo, uh, so we're not going to get into that. Uh, but that's what we got. And if we wanted to assign this to a specific user, we can do so. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to select my account here. That, and there we go, user friendly name, perfect, save. Cool. Now, from the device, if we want to go through the autopilot setup, it's now just a matter of rebooting it. So I'm going to go back to my test device. It's still in PowerShell. I'm just going to restart it with restart-computer. All right, so you'll notice now that we've enrolled the device in autopilot, it skipped the region question. Usually that's the first one it asks. And remember, we told it that we didn't want to auto assign the keyboard. And that's because I, I use a different keyboard layout, that's all. <laughs> cool, and we're just going to leave that as the default for this one. We'll hit next. Okay, cool. So you notice that it tells, it says, hi, Anthony, welcome. And that's because we assigned it to my user. So let me get my password and typed in here and we'll click on next. And once we get our password typed in there, if you have MFA, it's going to prompt you for that. And it's going to finish the setup for your device. And if you have pushed applications to the device and enabled the enrollment status page, this is where that would show up instead of this really generic, we're getting everything ready for you. Uh, because if you've got a lot of apps that need to be installed, uh, you don't want a user staring at a screen that says this may take several minutes and no indication of how long it, it, it's going to take. It's nice to have that installing application 1 of 10 and then 2 of 10, etc. Cool, and there we go. We have a Windows autopiloted device. All right, and you notice if we open up the settings app and go to accounts and the access worker school, you notice here it says it's connected to my Azure AD tenant. And if you need help doing this, remember the Enterprises Software Solutions is your number one software dudes. Thank you so much for watching.